Great men. In fact, I don't even think he can be categorized with them. He's not even in the same category as those other men. For example, when you ask, what is the king? Who is the king? And if you attempt to compare him to the lords and the viziers, you won't be able to. If you ask, who is the emperor? And you try to compare him to people below him, you can't. In fact, even in our country, if you try to describe the president by comparing him to the governors or the mayors, you really can't do it because the class is entirely different. The role is entirely different. Now imagine that of Sayyidul Mursaleen, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is, as we know, the greatest man to have ever walked this earth, the one that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala chose to be our model, our uswa. And not just us, to the point that he is the role model for the anbiya, all of them. Alayhim as He is the greatest of creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From the beginning of time till the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something really amazing in the Quran. Speaking to the kuffar, he says, أَمْ لَمْ يَعْرِفُوا رَسُولَهُمْ فَهُمْ لَهُ مُنْكِرُونَ He says to them, have, you, have they not recognized their messenger? فَهُمْ لَهُ مُنْكِرُونَ Now normally if we were going to speak in Arabic, we would say, فَهُمْ مُنْكِرُونَ That they rejected him. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَهُمْ لَهُ مُنْكِرُونَ as an emphasis. So fa comes in the meaning of sababiyya, it is the cause. What is the cause of their rejecting the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa That was mentioned. أَمْ لَمْ يَعْرِفُوا رَسُولَهُمْ Meaning, here in this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lays very clear the reason and the cause, the sabab for the rejection of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa What was that reason? When Sayyidina Ja'far radiallahu anhu he came before Najashi he was asked about the character of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and he explained it. When Al-Mughira was speaking to the Na'ib of the Qaysar, he spoke about the greatness of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa When Abu Sufyan ibn Harb spoke to the Kisra, again, he spoke about the greatness of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So in all of this is an indication that when someone recognizes the messenger, then they have no room to reject him. In fact, they never reject him. So the cause for the rejection of the Prophet ﷺ by anyone is simply because they are ignorant. Ignorant of what? What causes them to deviate? What causes them to reject him? What causes them to stay on misguidance? Is because of their ignorance. What is this ignorance? This is the ignorance of the recognition of the greatness of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His traits, his khususiyat, his uh, maqam, his shama'il, his inward, his outward. It's only when people come to truly know him, to recognize him, that they have no choice but to accept him. So the benefit of these sira conferences, and especially the one that we are doing here, is so that we can recognize the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For the one who recog- who's recog- as our recognition of his grows, then our iman grows. As our recognition of him grows, our love for him grows. And it is mandatory, it is followed upon every single believer to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when iman in hubb rasul is linked, when hubb goes up, iman goes up along with it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah accept our endeavors, accept this conference. Wa akhir da'ana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.